and welcome to a new video. So today we're gonna be doing a really exciting video where you guys on my Instagram chose my styling and wash routine. So to start off, you guys chose the Mayel Moisture RX Hawaiian Ginger Shampoo and you also chose the matching conditioner which was a great pairing if I do say so myself. So good job so far you guys. Next, let's go to stylers. You guys chose the Cantu Avocado Leave-In Conditioner. I've only used this guy once, so I was really excited to pick it up once again and style my hair with it. I show you how much I use, and I did the regular methods, the praying hands, raking, and just distributing it throughout my hair on one half of my head, and then doing the exact same thing on the other side. <laughs> My nail broke. I literally was gently raking my hair and my nail broke and it fell in my hair so I had to get that out and hair must go on so I continued styling my hair. After distributing the product thoroughly throughout my head, I went in with my Denman brush and gave myself my middle part and then brushed my hair through to help distribute the product even more thoroughly. You guys know the gist. I feel like if you've seen a few of my styling videos, nothing else new here. Next you guys chose the Maui Moisture Shea Butter Combing Cream as my curl cream. I used about that much and please excuse my broken nail and I did the same method I did with the leave-in conditioner. I raked, I did praying hands and just thoroughly distributed it through one side of my head and of course did the exact same thing on the other side. turning around to give you guys a quick glimpse of the back of my head and how I just distribute and rake product through. I never really show you guys the back of my head so I just thought it would be something cool for you guys to see. And now I'm again grabbing my Denman brush to help distribute that combing cream throughout my hair a bit more thoroughly as well. <laughs> As for styling, you guys chose the Bounce Curl Light Cream Gel. I went and poured some on my hands, and you will see in the next clip, I try to show you how much I use, but since this stuff is very watery, it slipped and fell out of my hand. Luckily, I caught it though, it fell on my lap, but I would say I used about 
like two quarter size amounts, maybe more. This gel is very light and thin, so I definitely use a fair amount of this bounce curl gel. Let me know if you want to see a routine using Jess bounce curl products to style and wash my hair. Anyways, I raked and did the praying hands method as well to apply this gel throughout the left side of my head or the right. Who knows, one side of my head and then applied it the exact same way to the other side as per usual. Once I finish distributing the bounce curl gel throughout my entire head, I'm going to style my curls real quick off camera with the Denman brush. I've done this a few times in videos and I actually have a video entirely about how I define my curls with the Denman brush so I'll link that above right now. And now that my curls are nice and defined, I'm gonna go in one more time with the Bounce Curl Light Cream Gel. Apply a little bit and start scrunching my curls. I call this my final scrunch and I like to apply a little bit more of my finishing product just to lock in those beautiful curl clumps I created with my Denman brush. Now I'm just gonna let my hair air dry for about one hour. Then I'm going to diffuse my hair and show you guys the finished results. These are my finished results, you guys. The volume. Look at that volume. I am so impressed. I think I'm gonna have you all choose my routine more often because I'm obsessed. I'm in love. Look at this definition. Look at that volume. I just cannot get over the volume. After I finished diffusing my hair and I took a look in the mirror, I was so freaking shocked, you guys, at this definition and volume. So thank you guys so much for choosing such an awesome routine. I'm going to show you a few more clips and then I'll be back with my day two results. And I think they look just as bomb, if not more bomb. <laughs> And this is what my curls are looking like on day two. They look so bomb still. It honestly doesn't even look like day two curls. It looks like they're freshly washed. I have such great volume, great definition, and it's so freaking shiny. I love the shine that this routine gave my curls. And I definitely see myself using this combo many, many more times when I just want a really nice voluminous look. And I really wouldn't have thought to put all these products together. So I'm so glad that you guys chose these for me. I thought I would show you guys a quick clip of what my curls look like from the back since I rarely do that. I'm all about how it looks like from the front. So if you guys were curious, here it is. And that is it for today's video. As always, if you enjoyed this video and my content, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the notification button because I do make new videos every single week. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a beautiful day, you guys. Bye.